best of health and my gratitude and thanks to, extends to my dear friend and brother Dr. Mohammed Abdel Futuh, Professor of Clinical Oncology and Cairo. These are the phases of evolution of radiotherapy from 2D to 3D to IMRT to MIT planning and SBRT as my friend Dr. Erika mentioned using image guided and active breast control. As you all know modern radiotherapy systems components and requirements it requires good patient positioning and immobilization, volumetric data accusation, image transfer to the treatment planning system, target volume delineation, then 3D model generation, followed by either forward or inverse planning and dose distribution analysis, arriving to the treatment quality assurance and finally treatment delivery. As you all know, for treatment delivery to control the motions during uh, irradiation, there is many, many ways uh, three is either to ignore the motion and to take uh, our care of uh, the margins either to freeze the motion by patient breathing normally with the respiratory gating or breathing is controlled by breath holding or jet ventilation or active breath control or either follow the motion by doing tracking like in the cyber night as you see here during simulation, we uh, register the cycles of respiration and we take sequences during mid exhale and end exhale and mid inhale and end exhale. This way we can draw uh, uh, volume with a free breath approach for the CT based internal target volume, which is internal gross tumor volume, which is a new term to us. We propose use of new concept called internal gross tumor volume, which is the envelope of GTV throughout its motion during respiration. Delineating the internal gross tumor volume from 4D CT images involves outlining the tumor volume on the maximum expiratory and inspiratory phase of the 4D images and registering the outline in other phases of the images to create a union of the target contours enclosing all possible positions of the target. Even with 4D CT, the free breathing simulation is only a snapshot and a single stochastic sampling of the patient's breathing. Attention should be paid to irregular breathing and variation in the patient breathing pattern over the course of each treatment session and the entire treatment course and to the effects of these irregularities on the internal tumor volume. As you all see here, this is a lesion at the uh, right lung apex. We can do construction of the internal target volume based on 4D CT, gross tumor volume in blue and uh, ITV outlined in light blue and dark blue shades respectively planning treatment volume outlined in red shade as you see. Graphic representation of the tumor motion during the breast cycle based on 4D CT image is presented at uh, the side here, as you see. Uh, T50 end at end of respiration, uh, of expiration, and T0 at the end of inspiration. 4D CT uh, real time position management RTM gating system. It is a computer controlled video based system in which a box with infrared reflectors is placed on the patient's surface and the motion of the box is tracked by an infrared camera. The RTM system can be interfaced with a CT or PET CT scanner for DCT for 4 DCT imaging. These images are used to design individualized treatment plan radiation and is administrated at optimum moments of breast cycles. As you see here, this is the evolution of beam delivery system. We started beam delivery with the, uh, the conventional, which we, which we are all uh, know by uh, two uh, D uh, planning and two opposing fields or opposing fields. Then we stepped 
to step the up to conform and radiotherapy then another step with amelioration of the intense modulated radiotherapy then volumetric arc radiotherapy then tomotherapy cyber knife and where we go else we will reach the moon this is an imrt plan it is an advanced most mode of 3D conformal radiotherapy. It divides each treatment field into multiple segments up to 500 segments per angle, allow dose escalation to most aggressive tumor cells, best protection of healthy tissue, modulates radiation intensity, gives distinct dose to each segment, uses nine plus beam angles, thousands of segments. It improves precision and accuracy. You all know the basic of IMRT, of course, but I'd like to remember you and to demonstrate the capabilities and the power of precision of IMRT. As you see here with IMRT, we can avoid irradiation of the rectum or minimize the dose which arrive to the anterior rectal wall, uh, while in the 2D dose distribution of conformal radiotherapy, it is very difficult to avoid irradiating the anterior rectal wall with all the side effects of proctitis even up to anterior tumor wall necrosis to arrive to uh, uh, treating uh, prostatic tumors. As you all know, I'm a fan of irradiating uh, liver lesions. I just wanted to show you the difference between uh, using stereotactic body irradiation and uh, IMRT in the treatment of different liver lesions. This, for example, a liver lesion beside the heart in stereotactic body irradiation, it is uh, quite difficult to avoid uh, the irradiating the heart, but with the IMRT, we can sculpt or we can avoid irradiating the heart as, as much as we can. This is another technique. It's a uh, more advanced IMRT, which is vol volumetric modulated arc therapy, which is a type of IMRT, uh, which can also be called rapid arc. It is different to normal in uh, IMRT in that radiotherapy machine rotates around the patient during a radiotherapy beam in an arc shape, which gives more, more and more control and uh, of the beam portals and the uh, as dosing uh, outlines. As you see here, for example, again, the liver, as I've already told you, I've done uh, more and more of the liver patients. As you see here, this lesion is quite very close to the stomach. So to avoid radiating the stomach wall with all the complication which can happen with hemorrhagic gastritis, we can use VMAT to create a non-uniform liver PTV irradiation with very good results, of course. Here to uh, compare IMRT with tomotherapy and cyber knife in lesion of uh, the lung. Uh, when using seven beam IMRT at the left or tomotherapy based SBRT at the middle and non planar cyber knife plan at the right, while all three techniques give similar dose to the tumor. I don't know what happened. The Zoom meeting is ended. I tissue dose is uh, the tissue dose is less with the non-coplanar cyber knife plan. Permission granted uh, for this uh, picture by the radio uh, radio surgery society, formerly cyber knife society, to reuse this picture. Now we will talk about some of the uh, equipments or some of the tools or weapons that, uh, uh, sorry, there is no picture. We are waiting for the projection.
Okay, now we are back. Uh, now we will talk about some of the new facilities available now in uh, Egypt or will become available in the next few months. As I've told you, I've been in one of the big tenders in Egypt to buy some of the new equipments and we managed to uh, buy the latest uh, radiotherapy equipments, uh, thanks God, which will, uh, by which we'll, we'll equip our departments uh, uh, all over Egypt with this kind of equipments. As you see here, I mentioned Eclipse. Eclipse is a treatment planning system uh, with a, a point-click plan. It, this is its a slogan. Uh, the contouring is smart segmentation, knowledge-based contouring, where w this reduce contouring time uh, image registration either from CT or MRI or COMBIM CT or PET CT registration is uh, supported by this system which gives the possibility to fuse many uh, uh, radiology uh, pictures uh, aiming at uh, uh, delineating better the tumors. Uh, it can do uh, planning 2D, 3D, 4D, and electron planning. Uh, advanced planning by rapid plan knowledge-based planning, rapid arc with multi-arc capabilities, IMRT utilizing sliding windows, and step and shoot techniques, VMAT, uh, plan robustness evaluation and biological optimization. It can also integrate with the bracket therapy, high dose or low dose. It can do dose calculation by ACROS XB, uh, XB advanced dose calculation algorithm for Monte Carlo equivalent calculation, which are the now the approved calculation uh, method. It can be connected to any type of Linux, uh, to uh, Varian, to Electa, to Siemens, linear accelerator, IBE, proton treatment support. Uh, it can also uh, follow RTOG, digital imaging and communication in medicine, export, DICOM, export for all images. The other uh, software which are available or become available uh, in Egypt, uh, the latest version is Monaco HD. Uh, it, uh, it, it gives us a high precision radiotherapy treatment planning. As you see here, uh, it streamlined user interface, uh, easier navigation, faster planning and planning toolbar. Uh, yeah. It uh, allow accelerated accuracy by collapsed cone algorithm, uh, faster optimization, fewer iterations. And it also change calculation parameter without uh, deleting uh, segments or point or shapes. Now we go to another tool which is the Mosaic Plaza connecting us to every moment of the uh, Okay. Uh, it do integration uh, to Electa uh, equipments, uh, Monaco software or uh, Varian Eclipse uh, for a, a truly optimized clinical workflow and also supports a all major oncology information system and Linux connectivity with a wide range of optimization cost functions, including those volume based and biological cost functions. What is IGRT and why we uh, do, do need it? The process of frequent imaging to D3D before and during the course of radiation treatment uh, to decrease side effects and improve outcomes. It should be highly accurate and can lead to a precise treatment uh, achievement. Uh, what can aid us, what are the imaging technique can aid us, are either ultrasound guided, video based, planar X-ray, X, uh, plain X-ray or CT, fan beam or comb beam or MRI. Real time tumor tracking is really needed to detect the respiratory motion using radiation beam, follow the tumor changing position, Difficulty of detecting the tumor itself, surrogate markers are used in most cases. 
external fiducials on the skin surface or internal fiducials implanted directly into the tumor in order to work method the time delay between the detection of motion and the corrective action should be short we can use gold seeds implantation either for example in lung or in prostate as you see here in lung we can uh, 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 record expiration and inhalation CT on lung window when they are fused and displayed in a color overlay. In A, image on the left is fused to the spine and the lung motion is apparent. On the right is fused to the fiducial or in other words, comparing movement relative to the fiducial, it can be seen that the lesion is moving with the fiducial and is therefore a good surrogate for the lesion motion. Now we come of one of the recent advances in Electa machines, which is the Versa HD, which is one of its kind. It uses the Agility 160 leaf multi-leaf collimating system, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> which allows for precision shaping of the beam to the treatment areas. It unlocks the full potential of high dose rate delivery due to using of the technology of the triple F, which is the flattening filter free technology. It implemented a mode which allowed a very high <coughs> dose rate delivery, which can deliver dose uh, in a time which make the patient uh, quiet and still uh, during treatment because I, as you know if a treatment takes a long time usually the patient moves and volunteer for patients with tumors that have appreciable motion excursions the versa boosts the only 4d comb beam online system worldwide this feature allows clinicians to track these types of tumors that move with the breath cycle so that they can more accurately target and treat them. These features have made it possible to provide elenac based teletactic body radiation therapy options to patients that are good candidates for this type of treatment. Now we move to another uh, Electa machine. Uh, no, I, the, uh, sorry. Uh, this Electa machine, which is uh, Versa HD, allow us a six degree uh, uh, of freedom couch. This couch allows for very accurate setup of the patient on the machine with the ability to make small adjustment to the positions of patients to exactly align them with the radiation beams. Now we move with the competitor, one of the strongest competitor, even stronger than the Versa HD, is the True Beam of Varian, a fully digital system with ultra high adjustable dose rates, three photon energies, and 120 leaf high definition multi leaf collimator, which gives at the patient surface a uh, resolution of one millimeter uh, multi leaf collimator for increased precision for uh, utilizing during stereotactic radiosurgery or stereotactic body radiotherapy. In addition to X-ray imaging, comb beam CT imaging and the RPM, which is the real-time position management gating for respiratory treatment, it's a new IM intrafraction motion review or triggered imaging system, triggers the low dose X-ray imager at a specific point in the patient respiratory cycle which enables visual verifications that the tumor is being properly targeted. Can you imagine now we are able to verify the patient movement or the tumor movement inside the patient during treatment and we can correct it as rapid as possible and we can deliver treatment in a very short time. It also implemented the triple F flattening filter free mode as well as the six degree of freedom couch Treatment deliveries include static and dynamic conformal arcs, conformal beams, and beam or arc intensity modulated radiotherapy and radio surgery. One of the most recent, most latest Siemens, because you know Siemens top uh, manufacturing uh, uh, equipment uh, five or six years ago, but the last one was artists. We have a couple of artists in Alexandria Radio Mustabal Oncology Center. It allows us to give the last and most advanced Linux manufactured Siemens because they stopped manufacturing six 
years ago with 160 leaf multi leaf combinator IMRT uh, comb beam CT for IGRT with M vision. It's very, very effective as we have already. I received a couple of uh, slides today morning from Electa. Uh, they showed me something which I didn't know, which is Electa Unity. It's an MR guided reduce therapy. It has been released, I think, uh, one year ago. Electa Unity MRI linear technology positions you at the forefront of patient-centric cancer care. Uh, it provides visualization of the tumor and surrounding healthy tissue. Uh, as you see, it uses either CT at the left side or MRI at the right side to verify and to uh, position the patient. This is very important to us to be more accurate. As you see here, it is a kind of complementary. It do planning and it is two words of one future. It do the three, planning and tumor delivery and verification. Now we go to the last but not least, which is the Accuray Cyber Knife. I heard that uh, uh, the children hospital uh, contracted to buy one of this uh, beautiful cyber knife which is a very very expensive but it is very powerful it is roof mounted kv x-ray for verification robotic arm with six degree of freedom six mv linux circular collimator which can freely do uh, brain or body stereotaxy frameless of course it is an image-guided frameless radiosurgery system. It's a non-isocentric treatment allows for simultaneous radiation or multiple lesion, real-time organ position and movement correction facilities. The imaging system consists of an orthogonal pair of kilovoltage X-ray imaging devices and an optical system that monitors the light emitter on the patient's surface. It allows non-isocentric frameless treatment there are several athletic modalities, including that based on bony structure, on planted codicials, and real-time dynamic tumor tracking. This is the synchronous solution with patient braces, uh, braces normally, lesion tracked throughout the treatment, most accurate treatment delivery with the cyber knife. These are plans with the cyber knife for, again, a liver tumor. I assure you, irradiation is very, very effective in hepatocellular carcinoma of the liver. As you see here, one of the Accuray latest machine, it has been released more than five or six years ago. It's very effective, but the idea that there is a donut for a CT imaging and multi-leaf collimator tra traveling uh, all around this donor to treat patient and to take images at the same time. Now we have uh, since three or four years the VO ray system, which is the three cobalt beams are modulated to multi leaf collimator. This system is equipped with a low field open magnetic resonance image. This was the first machine to use MRI during uh, radiotherapy to uh, verify for positioning. Is its dynamic MR images are acquired to track patients in real time. The ability to see soft tissues clearly in motion with MR is of great benefit in delivering high dose in a single fraction. I hope we'll see this machine uh, within a short time in Egypt. It's very expensive, but why not? If we'll buy the cyber knife, we can buy the view ray. This is a demo for the view ray. As you see here, one of my favorite patients treated with stereotactic body irradiation of the liver with complete, complete disappearance of the lesion after irradiation after a few months. Now we go to the bracket therapy Flexitron. We bought uh, a new machine of bracket therapy in Alexandria University Clinical Oncology Department, which is the Flexitron from Electa. It has been installed within a few days. It will work. It is loaded with cobalt 60 sources. It is designed for safety by reducing workflow complexity, boosting our clinical team confidence and efficacy. It can be connected to any oncology information system such as Mosaic. 
It's a safe investment in treatment delivery solution with future upgrade. To mention that we have brachytherapy since a very, very long time by Iridium, followed by Cobal in Alexandria Adil Mustaban Oncology Center, and we are using it, and we are receiving patients from all over Egypt since more than 10 years. Now we can say we are uh, on the road with the new opens, which are now available or will be available to fight cancer and save lives, even win against cancer. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you, Professor uh, Yusri, for uh, the great effort in collecting all of this data. And uh, I move the floor to Professor Dr. Wael Shishtawi, please. Sir. Good evening, everybody. Are you hearing me? Loud and clear, sir. Okay. Thank you a lot, uh, Dr. Yusri, for this presentation. Uh, now uh, uh, we'll move to the next presentation that will uh, uh, presented with by Dr. Roberto uh, Orecchia. Uh, he will speak about the IMRT versus brachytherapy boost in, uh, in gynecological cancer treatment. Please, Dr. Orecchia. Uh, 